All right, everybody, welcome to today's webcast. And this is uh, uh, really about filling your next event with influencer marketing. Now, those of you that have been around us for a while know that we have these flash classes, and this is part of our fall series where we actually have uh, three of these lined up for our next uh, influencer development workshop uh, and so we'll be uh, we'll be telling you a little more about that but really uh, those of you that have been around us know that we have uh, we're constantly at events uh, we probably do over four I think we do uh, literally uh, over 400 webcasts per year uh, and so what we want to do is share with you uh, some of the things that we determine that help from an influencer perspective. And so we're going to give you a little baseline definition. We're going to give you some of the steps that we use. And then, of course, uh, everybody attending today gets our event influencer marketing toolkit, which is pretty cool. It's an assembly of all the forms and checklists and things that we use as part of our marketing. So uh, those of you that don't know me, my name is Dean Delisle. I'm founder and CEO of Forward Progress and the creator of Social Jack, your uh, source for everything influencer development. Um, we've marketed uh, and produced over 2,000 events. We were thinking about this the other day. We uh, have trained and coached now over 120,000 uh, professionals as of a few weeks ago. And uh, so what we do is we have a, a process department, a servicing department that actually helps with influencer development and these webcasts and social streaming and the things that go along with making a successful event. And we got into this by simply uh, doing events over the years and, and doing them for so long, we're like, well, let's integrate social when social media came along and let's make things more digital and then still discovering that events are still about the people. So uh, so then uh, we, had two, we had two divisions and we still do today, one that helps produce the events and one that helps fill the events and create engagement at the events. And, and those are some of the most important things related to having a good event, right? So we want that engagement. So uh, we're gonna take you through how we do it. Uh, and then again, those of you that are on with us today also uh, will have access to the toolkit where we've assembled some uh, worksheets and things like that. So all good. <clears throat> so welcome everybody. A uh, few logistics, you're on the GoToWebinar platform. If you wanna switch to audio, a lot of you are driving at this time maybe and wanna listen on audio. Uh, you can use the mobile app uh, for Android or iTunes and uh, uh, connect to us that way. You can also uh, switch from uh, the computer audio uh, to a phone call and it'll give you a phone number and access code. And then also those of you that engage with us, which means clicking on things and, and asking questions, there's a questions area in the GoToWebinar taskbar and uh, we wanna make sure we hear from you. So real quick, while we're, uh, uh, just getting started. Can you type in where you're checking in from today? Where in the world are you checking in from? Type that into the questions area now. So welcome Chicago. Yes, we're in Chicago as well. Uh, welcome. Uh, look at uh, the, ooh, the Carolinas. Hope you guys are doing well out there. I know you're you're in for some rough weather here. So appreciate you being on with us. Uh, we have New York. We have Rhode Island. You be careful out there too, Aaron. Uh, I've been out there quite a few times. I love it out there. Uh, we have Cincinnati, welcome. We have Las Vegas, welcome. We have Canada, welcome. Mexico, uh, oh, Germany is on with us today. So again, uh, you know, Austin, Texas. Oh, Paula, good to see you on with us today. Maryland, yes, I remember Michelle at the AMAA in Chicago. Uh, welcome, Maryland. Do you stay safe there too? I have a lot of family there, so I know you guys are gonna get hit. So, um, So we know that influencer marketing, digital marketing uh, in a world where we're so connected like we never have been before. Now, without dating myself, I've been doing a ton of, uh, ton of events over the years. Uh, and so I'm in that, you know, sort of space where um, I've seen this evolution and we laugh sometimes that, you know, we came from, you know, the, um, 
uh, do you guys remember pagers? And that was like the original form of text messaging. I'm not going to ask you to date yourself like I am, but you know, we had um, uh, events where we're, I remember we're using walkie talkies to talk to one another and to coordinate at these big events and conferences that we were doing. And then we were amazed when there was automated lead generation and collection forms. Well, in today's world, you know, we find that, you know, our specialty is we're helping with simulcast. We're helping with taking an event from people that are on a stage or on a panel, or it could be a small meeting and sending that out to the rest of the world. And sometimes tickets are sold, sometimes it's free and it's designed to bring people, uh, more people to us or more people to see us in our events. So with that being said, I'm just gonna ask a quick polling questions here. How many events are you responsible uh, for per year? So I have one annual event, two per year, three to six per year, <laughs> too many to list. I, I thought some of you might like that. Uh, one per month. So just click on the one that sort of best suits you. So sometimes we have an annual event and we have our influencer development program is designed to keep people stable. If you have two a year or three a year, how do we maintain that relationship between events so we don't have to start from scratch? Isn't that, that's tough. You know, all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's our, you know, we have to start getting ready for our annual conference. Um, and so, so we need to bridge those people and those networks that we have so they stay engaged with us uh, between those events. And sometimes our events are ongoing and it's just called social media. So that's how we look at the world. Now let's talk a little bit. Thanks for everybody who jumped in on that. So let's talk about uh, just being a business influencer. So we always ask the question, are you a business influencer? Well, yes, each and every one of you, I see my business owners on here. I see partners of accounting firms, law firms. Uh, I see marketers on here. You're all influencers. You're all helping to influence somebody's decision. Well, why is that important? Well, you know, we use business influence um, and, and we use it to, to maintain a reputation so that people know that we're the go-to person in the network. Uh, it provides visibility for our brand. So if we're, you know, I have Mike from uh, Artflow on here, and so he wants people uh, to know him as much as he may not want to be out there as much as I would like him to be. But honestly, that's what people do. People follow you back to your brand or back to your place of commerce, and it builds trust. And that's where the referrals and new business come from and I don't want to make it sound easy but this is basically that secret formula to make that conversion happen okay now what are some vehicles of digital influence there's content some of you are doing blogging by the way I love your blogs uh, images video webcasting and podcasting are two components of that social media and email so when you get our checklist of things to do you'll notice that we have these pieces on there because we want our event to not just be when we're doing the event or thinking about the event but we want the event you know all that hard work to live forever and this is where people sort of miss the boat on this so like we say social media is a big event michelle acknowledged that we met at amaa and it was it was a lot of fun michelle we loved uh playing with you making videos and all that sort of cool thing but you know amaa isn't over there's another event so we use social media to maintain those relationships so social media i want you to think of linkedin Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, wherever you go daily for your event or your dosage of, of social media, you're going to an event. So think of it, uh, the association that way, it's gonna really help you. Now, those of you that are part of organizations, that means that there are people in there, we're using employee advocacy. So one of the first things that we do is we assemble the team inside. We make sure their profiles look good. We make sure they look good. This is a reflection of, of our entire brand and our event. So believe it or not, even the people that are that are uh, doing ticket sales and things like that or, or logistics, all those people, if they have profiles or can be found on the internet, they matter. So make sure you, you clean those up, okay? Make sure those look your very best. Now we have eight steps to this, to be an influencer. And yes, we'll make these slides available to you. 
and we have a whole live event marketing life cycle. Now we have, this is a flash class, not an all day workshop. So we can't t tell you all this, but it's going to be in your kit that you're going to receive today that has all these cool things. But let's break down some of the uh, easy things to, to digest in this time that we have. So we have traditional event, life cycle so let's say you know what happens is we activate the event so you'll notice on the diagram here that's when we see an uptick in activity and energy and so you know nigel if you and paula and vicky are participating or coming to uh let's say chicago to the next conference that we're doing and and you're starting to start a conversation ahead of that we want to activate that as as fast as possible and what typically happens is it's a it's a new start it's like oh let's start talking about the conference three you know three months ahead of time four months ahead of time i have some people that talk two years ahead of time if it's a big conference but you want to start the energy and the conversation. Well, what happens then is, oh, the event's over. We leave and then, you know, we have leads and, and you know, we have, uh, you know, we try to sign up as many people as possible for the next one. It tapers off and we take a break. Well, what we want to encourage you to do is not just take a break, but maybe continue the conversation. So let's talk about some of the steps to do that, some of the easy steps to do that. Well, the first thing is content. So what content do you have that could potentially live forever once the event is over? There's PowerPoint decks, there's videos, there's uh, PR maybe, there's uh, social media. And one of the most important things that are still left out today are the hashtags. Hashtags build community. Community. Many of you see this now on uh, LinkedIn and, and now they're using hashtags. Well, don't forget also that people that are involved with helping to generate the content before, during, and after also have networks. They are powerful social networks, some more than ever. When uh, we're doing... Um, uh, when we're doing an event, we have a score sheet and you'll notice down below we have speakers, sponsors, and attendees. We do a score sheet to determine who are the very best players, the people that we can count on that we know that are going to play during the event, before the event, after the event, so that we can get that highest amount of energy. And then what tactics can we use to continue the conversation so their networks see that? Because if I see that, you know, Lori is coming to an event and Lori and I are good colleagues, I'm going to be like, Lori, should I be going to that event? Or I might be influenced just to buy a ticket because I know Lori's going and she usually picks good events. Does this make sense to everybody? So I want to make sure I've got everybody with me. This is so critical for you to understand this part. So this tagging is a big deal. So if Lori, you know, if all of a sudden I'm like, I tag Lori and I'm like, Lori, thanks for turning me on to blah, blah conference. And, and now all of a sudden I, I tag the conference, I tag Lori, I'm involving three networks that are, that are integrated together for the greater good of that conference being activated and myself as an influencer are being seen in the conference network and Lori's network. So you'll notice those of you that use Twitter before and during, you have a lot more people that come up to you and say, oh, hey, how you doing? Like, like they know you because they're in a conversation or dialogue with you on social ahead during or after that event. So again, I can't go deep diving on all this stuff, but I want you to understand what's in the toolkit too. So step two is to make sure you activate that network. Now we do training with all the organizers, the partners and affiliates and all the people involved. And so after we score, we offer a training for everybody that's involved because we want people to know how to play. So we want them to know content timing. We want them to know uh, things that are going on uh, ahead of the event. You know, there'll be videos and blogs, maybe do some pre-interviews, anything that you can do as part of your process to activate that up is is really the best way to do that so in influencer marketing you have to have your influencers involved and connected and playing together so just type a yes in if this makes sense to everybody i want to make sure everybody's with me on this journey so this is a, a big deal okay good so everybody everybody gets this part so so now step three is the commitment to engage that's always the toughest part even when you don't have events it's like how do you get people to engage well this is where we get streams so a lot of times we will do pre-event engagement 
pieces. And now that might be a live stream, that might be something where we're having our uh, event peeps and, and maybe even our sponsors and, and generating some advanced thought leadership. Now, if you're a speaker, how many of you do speaking at events? Just sort of curious how many people are, who's my speakers that are on here? Some of you I know are sponsors as well. You wanna get in those slots, get in those pre-event slots. In fact, you should be asking when you're going to an event, uh, you know, do you want, you know, do you want me to help produce a blog? Do you want me to uh, shoot a quick video talking about my speaking topic at the event? Um, as you do this, you are pre-networking with that audience. So why wait till you get on stage? Start building, uh, uh, you know, start building rapport with the audience before you get there. Those of you that are organizing events, make sure you get these influencers to participate. So we have, uh, I think the toolkit has like coaching docs, even how to shoot, properly shoot a video with your iPhone. You know, there's like easy peasy stuff that you can do here to actually take it up to the next level. So we want to make sure that you understand that, you know, at, at the very least 30 days before, 30 days after, 30 days before, start those online digital conversation. Also invite people for influencer takeovers. This means as an influencer, as a speaker, offer to take over their social media. That means to go onto a channel and really host the audience. You're like the host of that audience going to the event. So that could be an association and people love people stepping up and volunteering to help with content and helping to pre-engage with their audience. I'm telling you, those of you that are speakers will pick up 10 times more speaking. Those of you that are organizing, you have all these helpers, not just the people working on the event, but influencers want to get in front of an audience. They don't want to wait till they get on stage. Now you're going to have what we call the passive influencers, the people that maybe they were assigned to speak and, and, you know, we'll get a lot of those where we look at them and we like, well, it looks like they were sort of made to do this, meaning that some manager or director said, you know, hey, we need you to go to this conference and speak. And, and they're really not all in on their own influence. So we, we usually determine that ahead of time, pick that out. And that, that doesn't mean that you play with every single speaker, but then a lot of those speakers are actually looking to you know, take um, themselves to the next level of their career or business influence. So this is this is sort of a big deal. Now, how many people have mobile apps? I'm gonna put a poll up here, I'm just curious. So mobile app for your events, do you guys use mobile apps or um, sometimes it doesn't apply or you don't think it applies or maybe you don't know enough about it. So I'm just gonna say super quick here that um, for a mobile app, uh, the reason this is important is because I'm sure a lot of you right now even have your mobile device in your hand or it's not far. It's our safety thing, right? It's the thing that we have as close as possible to us because it's how we do all of our business. So those of us that are influencers. So just a thing to consider that because that's where people naturally are or naturally go, that that's why we have the social jack event app because it creates engagement and pre and post networking. The big deal is to make sure that people are constantly networking and engaged with you as the event organizer because that's connected to maybe your association or your group that's hosting that event. So just make sure you take that into consideration. There's a ton of options. So there's a ton of options out there for mobile apps. This is not about mobile app sales or anything like that. The other thing is post event follow up. So some conversion tips follow up with deliverables. Right now, when we're done today, you guys are going to walk away with an event toolkit that has a lot of the things that I'm talking about here with checklists and things to make you better. Because, you know, again, we've been doing these, you know, over the last couple of decades, over 2000 events, 400, now 400 streaming events per year. We, we learn a lot of things and things change. So we're constantly updating. So those of you that are social Jack members, you belong to social Jack, you'll notice that we update these worksheets all the time. Those of you that are guests that are coming in periodically or, or visiting us on these flash classes, we want to make sure you, you at least get the benefit of, of being here and playing with us. Um, so as we follow up and, and don't hesitate to ask questions here, folks, because again, we want your events to be successful. 
So follow up with deliverables. If you promise something, uh, try to get it to people within a reasonable amount of time. This is the toughest thing to do. We do testimonials and interviews, and sometimes we're held up by bureaucracy or technology, depending on which one. But try to, uh, you know, video within two weeks, um, deliverables that are easy to upload if you have them in advance, like PowerPoints, four to 24 hours, contact the attendees and, and drive them back to social. So one of the coolest things that we do is we'll take uh, questions that are the top questions in a conference or on a webcast, and we will publish those or create those into a blog post. And we'll uh, maybe create a Google Doc ahead of time, put the questions in there and let the speakers jump in. And then that way, you can create an infographic out of that. Uh, we've done this very successfully with Social Media Strategy Summit and some others where, uh, you know, you have the speakers that are part of a panel and you have some questions that you can't handle. Now, all of a sudden, you have the speakers ask or answer these ahead of time, and then you leak out those publications, the infographics, the blog posts after the conference and use that as a timing mechanism to bridge people to that next event. Stay connected with your influencers. Uh, keep acknowledging them for the next month, the next year, whatever that gap span is. Make sure that you acknowledge those influencers and 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 tag them in that acknowledgement. I just want to thank, uh, you know, let's say that uh, Paula White, who's on with us, you know, and let's say you're at a speaking at a conference of ours, and we are literally. Uh, uh, thanking you for your part, your your contribution to the event, and we will republish your PowerPoint, your broadcast, your thought leadership notes, your your whatever content that we have from you uh, after that conference, or maybe two months after that conference. And now we're seen as thought leaders because we're sharing other thought leaders. Okay, and then you can also do this as part of your drip marketing uh, sequence. So real important. So now as you get up, make sure to team up with your sponsors as you have, um, you know, I have Microsoft up here. I have University of Wisconsin and, and American Family is another example. But one thing we've been really successful at is making sure that we get the sponsors to work together. It isn't about your booth or just your booth. It's about the collective organization of the power of everybody's social media. So if you are an individual as an influencer, you also have an organization that is a separate network. Sometimes, you know, in most cases they're connected, but you also have the power of the bigger network of these brands. So make sure that you are connecting to the brands and you're mentioning those in your social media posts. And, and you know, that you wanna use that. And now what's interesting about this is that this is a fact that people that are brands, that are sponsors, so those of you organizing events, listen to me on this. Um, as you have sponsors that are at events, they are connected to other sponsors they do events with. That means that if you're looking to pick up sponsors, sponsors run in packs. So they have networks and they're connected. So as you're mentioning, we wanna thank our sponsor and make the event feel successful beyond the four walls of the event or the 10 walls of the event. The more conversations you have about this externally, the more success you're gonna have of getting sponsors to come to you. And so watch who's engaging, watch who's looking and liking and viewing the content that you're putting online. You'll be shocked at how, how easy pickings it is to get speakers and sponsors from this uh, sort of pre, during and post engagement. So don't, don't be shy, go back and look throughout the course of the journey and who has engaged with you. And really the outcome is events, you know, live, online, and on site. So this is probably the most successful thing we've been helping groups do for the last couple of years is, is to, even if it's a snapshot or it's a keynote sample, it's just a quick stream, it's not even the whole thing, it gives you that visibility or that peak to the people that couldn't make it in. So we have a blockchain, a big blockchain event coming up here in Chicago. So we have like 500 people, I think, coming in there. Um, we're gonna have at least 200 people online and we're selling tickets for that. Well, think of that. And any of those, uh, any of you listening in that want discounted or access tickets to that, just uh, send us a note directly. We usually like to help out folks in our network get into those things. But here's what's cool. This conference is gonna be broadcast globally. Why? 
because it's on the internet just like this. We have people from Mexico that are on with us today, Canada, somebody in Germany that logged in. Um, this means that, that this webcast is not limited to wherever you and I are sitting. It is global. So why not make your event a global event? Even if it's local, put the word out so that people can actually see who you are and you have greater influence in the world because of that. You want to increase ticket sales, right, from the visibility. You want to boost your online engagement so tickets are easier to sell at the next one. Upgrade and add your sponsors. So if your sponsors know that you're getting more eyeballs, you know, sponsors like to hear how many people are at the event, how many are coming to the event. Don't they do that? They're always asking you. So you want to make sure that, that you know, you say, well, we have 200 at the event, but we have another 200 online. You can upgrade their sponsorship package. You can charge more. So it gives you that added feature because they know they're going to get that. Okay, makes sense. So I'm going to have your uh, I'm going to have your uh, toolkits here in just a second. So a couple of quick tips, and then I'll take some questions. Uh, so pre-marketing setup, influencer marketing. Make sure you infuse it. Commit to engage with your audience and get them. Mobile makes sense for you. Make sure you do it, and then do the post-event follow-up. So uh, real quick here, um, we have, uh, uh, and again, I'm going to take some, I've got some questions coming in here, so please don't be shy. This, you know, this can apply to any type of event that you're doing. So have a plan to succeed and make sure that you map this out and get everyone working for you, not just the team, but the people that are connected. Once you sign sponsors and speakers, get them playing with you, okay? So let's take a couple questions on this. So uh, one of the big questions, and we will have a winner coming up here in terms of our Starbucks gift card. So hang in there for that for a minute. So one of the questions is, I have an annual event and it's taxing because it's also part of our business. How do you uh, determine to incorporate that as part of our social media? No, that makes sense. So, so that's exactly what you do. So make sure that you have a timed message that goes out periodically um, and, uh, oh, I just heard too that in the handouts section of the GoToWebinar taskbar, we have the event influencer marketing toolkit, uh, inside the handouts button in the GoToWebinar. So those of you that are live with us can do that. And then the autoresponder will give you access to that. Okay. So make sure that you have, uh, so whoever's doing your content calendars or your maps, make sure that you map that out so that every month, a couple times a month, you're referring back to the event. Oh, in our summer conference, uh, we had da, 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 you know, and so you can make those uh, references back to the previous event. And then say, those of you looking to, uh, uh, you know, see similar things, you know, do, you know, um, make sure you attend our fall conference. So you can bridge those two together. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, I thought so. So uh, as we pick our winner here, just a couple of other quick things, then I think I have one or two other questions. So we're gonna pick our winner. So Jackson, type in who our winner is there. Um, we do have in Chicago, we have an influencer workshop. Now these workshops go from one to five and five to seven is networking. And this is where we peer, uh, you know, pair you up with other influencers. So it's a half day mini workshop. It has an online segment to it. So you can go back with your team and share this with your team. Uh, which includes some of the event influencer courses and things like that. Um, oh, we have two Starbucks winners today. Hang in there. Uh, two ladies. Looks like the ladies were the most engaged on here today. Um, so uh, how many people would like to attend or consider to attend the workshop? Uh, and this workshop really is to help you build your brand, your personal brand. It helps build your network. It helps connect you uh, to other folks. It helps you really... Uh, just take you and your network to that next level. So uh, looks like most of you, yeah, we have some for sures in here. So wow, looks like a lot of you in there. Okay, so let's talk about our winners real quick. We have two Starbucks gift card winners. Now there's rules to this, so pay attention. So we have Paula White, congratulations, and Michelle McNabb. So, uh, so two winners, now what this means, ladies, is when you use those Starbucks gift cards, you have to share something that you learned, 
So we're going to go through that again, and, I, and we'll give you the slides so you can do this. But uh, we want you to share this because this is constantly changing, and everybody needs your help. And by sharing what you learned, you're being an even bigger influencer in the workplace. Okay, so we want you to be seen as that thought leader. And people are like, "Well, I'm an accountant. Why should I talk about this?" Well, because you're a thought leader because when you learn things, you share those things, they're uh, pretty much at that next level. So uh, real quick, if you go here, now here's the cool thing. So we have, this is the first release that we're talking about this influencer workshop. So go to socialjackinfluencer.com and mark down this promo code, DEAN50. So there's an early bird special, which means that if you use DEAN50, you get half off of the early bird. And we only do this for 10 tickets. This thing always sells out. We have a waiting list. We just process the waiting list and we have about 20 seats left in the workshop. So that means any of you that really wanna come here and do this with us, make sure you write down socialjackinfluencer.com and Dean50. Uh, make sure you jump on that too. Okay, and to get your influencer toolkit, Make sure you either click on the handout section and download it right now, or there will be a link where you can get that. So this toolkit has the live event marketing lifecycle worksheet, the influencer webcast marketing lifecycle worksheet, live event checklist, and the speaker scoring and ranking form. So this allows you to see how we score people. Isn't that cool? So uh, you guys know, now, now how about this? Now, come on, isn't this cool that we're giving you all this stuff? Come on. Are you guys excited about this? You should be, because it's some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> okay, any final questions? We promised you we were going to keep this tight. Look at that. We kept that to right about 30 minutes, as promised. So what is the number one takeaway? What are you going to do differently? Type that in. Type that in right now. What are you going to do differently? So for your next event, what are you going to do differently besides coming to our, uh, maybe, maybe our next workshop and downloading the toolkit and sharing with your team? What are you going to do differently? Yes, you're going to activate your influence. Oh, Ian's going to pre-marketing promotion. That's good. Yeah, and we have, uh, oh, and some people here are speakers, so they are going to be more connected. Yes, Paul is going to get sponsors and leverage their networks. Awesome, Paula. Yeah, good job, everybody. Okay, so uh, I think I actually answered all the questions through content. So naturally, with our networks, if you want to stay to, uh, uh, yeah, pre-event promotion, <laughs> that's okay, Ian. Um, let's see. Oh, and uh, let's see, Michelle is uh, emphasize the importance of event organizers to engage their sponsors together and asking for value pieces like blogs, uh, videos to share. Uh, there you go. And you get the, the sort of the sharing and it's not necessarily a burden. Make sure you share sort of the step-by-step -step toolkit things that we give you. Um, yeah, and, and, you know, making that collaborative, you know, so you guys are, are collaborative together in this. So uh, if you follow Social Jack, you'll get the uh, all the influencer stuff. If you follow me, you'll get that. With Forward Progress, you'll get more content marketing, con you know, uh, th pieces of that, you know, related to content marketing. But anything related to influencer marketing or event influencers, the Social Jack channels. So did everybody learn something new today? Let's do this. Oh, and also uh, let's do one last poll for all of you hanging in there. So if you guys do need help with uh, putting butts in seats or things outside of learning and coming to a workshop, just click on the screen there real quick. Some of you are looking to do webcasts and webinar and podcasts. So we'll circle around, circle around with you on some of this, and some of you just want to put butts in seats. That's why I put that in there. <laughs> I figured you're like, just give me butts in seats. Uh, social streaming is uh, really um, where you integrate social media with your webcast. So that would mean like YouTube. I didn't even get into that today. So we do a lot of from stage to social. So that means you're going from YouTube. Uh, you're going from the stage directly to YouTube channel. And you know, this is where everything's going as we binge watch on Hulu and we see television and our world changing. You know, this is where the world's going. So the quicker you can broadcast to an audience, especially a social audience, the faster your social 
will change. So that's what all these cool things mean. All right, so we're going to close that out. Well, appreciate each and every one of you for attending and uh, look forward to seeing you at the next event where I've met a lot of you at events. And uh, with that being said, always let us know if we can help you and we appreciate referrals just like you do. So with that being said, we'll look forward to seeing many of you at the upcoming conference and we'll see the rest of you on social media at some point soon. So take care, everybody. Thank you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you real soon online. Talk soon. Bye.